Getting some breaking news this morning on New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft. For that, we'll go to Dominic Chu back at HQ. Dom? All right, so, Carl, what we are learning right now is, according to NBC News, the Jupiter, Florida Police Department has just concluded a press conference where Robert Kraft, the owner of the New England Patriots, is being charged with solicitation of prostitution after hundreds are arrested in an investigation or a sting operation regarding human trafficking at massage parlors. The presser is just finishing up right now. We're kind of going through some of the details right now. But this is this particular instance here. We have reached out to both the Patriots and the NFL for comment on this. That's what we know for right now. We're going to go through and try to pull what we can from this particular press conference by the Jupiter PD, but still of, of obviously a very high profile name celebrating their Super Bowl victory. Uh, certainly not a good situation given what's happened with Robert Kraft right now, but we'll, re we'll bring you more details as we know more on our side. But Carl, obviously a very stunning development here for right now. Uh, again, being charged with at this stage. We'll bring you more as we know more here, guys. Back over to you. Uh, it is uh, it is stunning, uh, to say the least, Dom. Uh, local paper reports that uh, detectives have said the acts were captured on surveillance video. It does seem yeah. like a, a sting that's been in the works for some time. Obviously, implications for, uh, I don't know, Eric Chemi, uh, one of the most powerful owners in all of professional sports. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you think about the Patriots, it could be one of the two most valuable franchises in the NFL, in all of the country, in American sports. Robert Kraft has a great reputation. He's on CNBC a lot, as we know. Thought of as a real great business leader, what he's done with that team as an owner, as a manager, as a business executive. So this is tough news to hear today. We're going to have to see what happens going forward with it. A uh, six-month investigation, uh, the uh, Sebastian Police Department is saying, and the Vero Beach Police Department involving multiple jurisdictions uh, has culminated by charging nearly 200 subjects with over 200 counts of solicitation. Uh, the main targets of the investigation also charged with various counts of law violations, including racketeering, uh, driving support from prostitution, and transportation for prostitution. Eric, this is this is wide ranging. We we barely know anything about it, but this is wide ranging. I know it just came out just seconds ago, so we're still going through it. I mean, we that's we know one name. If there's 200 other people, we're probably going to hear about some other names. And usually, when wealthy people are involved in this, it's not usually one. There's other people, so I'm sure we're going to find out some other names that we're familiar with on this channel for sure. Sure.